Hey, welcome, welcome back to the channel. I am Silver Ninja going over the game Ant Legion. Now, there are a few events that do Mark of Honor. You'll see them in breakthroughs. You will see them in, I don't know what to call these, the optional events where you get uh, the optional card between those two. And you get 600 points per Mark of Honor. So we can go, let's go to where there a few of them are. First, uh, we're going to stop at the Dark Cavern. Now, there are no Mark of Honors here, but you do sometimes get them in here. Uh, let's see. Looks like I only got—I already got the last one, which gave me a 1,000 Mark of Honor. And just when you get it, save it for an event, for whatever uh, ant you want that it is in. And then, uh, but also, as if you get Mark of Honor at the end of this and you've been uh, stockpiling your points for it, then remember to come back at the end of the day and do another attack. Otherwise, you have to wait a week for it. So we're going to go to the Mantis Cave here. Go to the exchange shop. Now I have 158,000 points. And to, ma to get the most points out of Mantis Cave, try not to get let your points get stolen by not waiting for it to time out. Come back, recall, and steal as often as you can. Um... Uh, but you can buy Mark of Honor points here by stockpiling your Mantis Exchange Shop. Now, you will have to sacrifice getting less upgrades or getting, or if you're aiming for Carpenter Shards, you'll have to do that. Um, now, I've been buying a lot of Snail Experience, but I do actually want to get to my next level Mark of Honor. So, I'm not going to buy Mark of Honor except for when there's Mark of Honor events. Because there's no... Uh, daily limit in most of the shops. You can go into the arena. There are three exchange shops, but only one of them has the Mark of Honor. Um, what are your point options? So you can stockpile these points as well. Just don't spend them. You can. There's no limit to how many you can get. Uh, you just want to buy the daily surprise box every day because that's free diamonds. So if you're not trying to stockpile resources, I mean not stockpile, but get a bunch of resources then or a bunch of speeds uh you can use the snail you can also use them for your snail points for that for the snail event but you do have mark of honor here too and to get more points you should already know this by now but you just keep doing challenges win or lose you get badges so that is it for the exchange shops uh, the only other place, ooh, nice, 688 from the Daily Surprise Box, which is why you buy that every day. Uh, the only other place you can get Mark of Honor uh, is from events um, and from stockpiling event rewards. So let's go look at the Ladybug here, Ant Growth Supply. I've already claimed them, but level 27. Now this is, uh, I think it's like 5 bucks or 10 bucks to buy the Advanced Supply. I almost always buy that. Um, I don't spend a ton of. I try not to spend a ton of money in this game, uh, but the rewards from this particular one, are, I think, are worth the five bucks. You know, I cannot buy a mocha that day, whatever. And so you notice I have a lot of stuff I haven't collected yet, but I've already collected the uh, Mark of Honor for the last Mark of Honor event. But you can stockpile your rewards, okay? So if you have anything that has it so now the territory war does give you mark of honor so you'll get point you should i don't know if you get you know actually i don't know if you get points for that so i will make a short on that when we after we do territory war um and kind of see where we're at on that but if i remember Holiday events, Sweet Summer has uh, rewards as well. And if any of them Mark of Honor, don't cash them in until a Mark of Honor event. Okay? Since so the Mark of Honor that I have gotten, we've gotten almost to level 5. So I just need to speed through some either researches or building speeds or something like that uh, to try to get those gears. Here's what I want. If I get all the way through it, then I can get these as well. There is no Mark of Honor here, but there is in the state rank, but by that time... They end at the same time, so that doesn't matter. Uh, the only other place you can go is going to be the cash shop at this point. And uh, just take a look at what the better deals are. So this is three bucks 
if you have cash to spend, uh, three bucks, you get 120. If you were to go to the rare items, it's five bucks for 100. Now you do get more diamonds, but the diamonds are based on how much, this box of diamonds is based on how much you're spending. So anything that has five bucks will be 1100. Uh, you know, so you can kind of see that. Uh, limited offer. Uh, let's see, you get 80 for a dollar, 150 for five dollars. These are seem to be pretty incremental, but I do believe the best deal is going to be three bucks for 120. So just if you if you are going to buy from the cash shop and you don't have uh, unlimited funds like many of us don't. Then just try to find what the better deal is. If you got five bucks to spend, spend three bucks here. Uh, spend a dollar here, and you got a lot of honor points, right? Uh, and, you can, and then you can spend another dollar wherever. Uh, the weeklies don't change as much, but the daily box always changes based on what's um, what the event is for the day. So just keep an eye out for those if you do spend money. And. That is it. That's all the places you can get Mark of Honor and how to stockpile for them. Uh, if I missed anything, let us know in the comments. If you think I missed anything, uh, I mean, if you got anything, if I got anything wrong, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember to keep it fun. We'll see you on the next one.